presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, what's new in ProPresenter 7.10? Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you're curious what Renewed Vision has released recently, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So once again, Renewed Vision has done it again. They've released a new version of ProPresenter. So if you're not familiar, in the old days, ProPresenter 6, for example, they would save up a bunch of features and then release them every three or four-ish years. Well, now, since they changed their subscription model a little bit, it's not actually a subscription, but anyway they are releasing new features about every three months. So I thought that we would dive in and I'd tell you what they have released most recently. And uh, by the way, you might notice the lighting's a little different. Some things look a little different. That's because I moved the day that they announced this. So it was tearing me up to have to wait to get everything in place and... Uh, reorganized so that maybe I could uh, do this tutorial for you. So without further ado, let's head over to my computer and take a look at ProPresenter 7.10. So here we are, and there's a lot of new features in Pro 7.10, uh, the first of which is um, templates. So in the past, let's say that you've got, you know, basically an order that you typically use for your uh, worship services or presentations, you know, what you do. In the past, the only way to make kind of like a template is to save one, make a new playlist, and just drag similar stuff over. Not ideal. So now we have the ability to uh, make a template. So you'll notice that I've got one right here. And so I can make that in ProPresenter and um, make changes from week to week so that uh, it's just nice and easy to do that way. Another great thing that they've added is playlist markers. So in the past, there were kind of hacky ways to do this, but now you can go into a video and let's see if I've got one right here. Um, looks like this one is not showing up, um, but you can go into a video and you can have it here. Let's see if I've got one up here. No. Okay, here, this is a video. We can right click and we can go into the inspector right there. And we can add markers. So I could add one right there. And right there, last one, add a marker, and then at that marker, I can have ProPresenter do certain things. So I could have it send MIDI commands at a certain point during a video. I could have it um, send a macro at a certain point, etc. There's a lot of stuff that I can now do just by adding markers in to videos. Another thing that they've done is um, if you've seen my tutorial about the timeline the timeline used to be very basic it would just you know play audio now we have the ability to change slides at a certain point that's not new but uh, change media change audio and do some other stuff so that's another cool feature that they've added They've also added the ability to sync ProPresenter with other devices that sync via SMPTE timecode. 
So there are certain programs and other devices that send out time code, one number for every frame, 29.9 frames a second if you're uh, at 30 frames a second, 59.94 frames a second if you're at uh, 60, something like that, right? So each frame has its own number. Well, you can use those numbers to sync things, and that's something that ProPresenter can do as well. Additionally, they've added a few other things like the um, efficient playback with H.264 and H.265 uh, in Mac OS. Uh, spell, check, spell check is now enabled by default. Uh, it will automatically refresh inputs without having to restart ProPresenter. This is a really nice one if you've ever lost an input or anything like that. And finally, um, just looking at the inspector, which I had up just a moment ago, they have um, added some more enhancements that I'll dive into in a future tutorial. So all those cool things that they've added will enable you to take your presentations to the next level by um, automating things that you couldn't automate before, by syncing things more precisely than you could do before, and it's just a really exciting time to be a ProPresenter user. If you like this content, you'd like my ProPresenter 7 kick quick start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number seven, quick. Give me your name and email address and I will uh, enroll you in my ProPresenter 7 quick start course for free. And uh, here's a hint, it's about to get updated with uh, ProPresenter 710. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.